Fertilized eggs hatch into chicks that are cultivated for meat production, otherwise called broiler hatching eggs. Eggs can hatch on their own to give new chicks. However, hatcheries like Cackle Hatchery, California Hatchery, Jenks Hatchery, Meyer Hatchery, and many others have found a way to hatch eggs with technology. Let's take a look at how this is done. As I've previously mentioned, female chickens or mother hens can lay eggs all by themselves, and they can lay out about six eggs per week. However, those eggs only become fertilized when the female chickens mate with the male chickens or roosters, and that's where baby chickens come from. The first stop for these fertilized eggs once they leave the farm is the hatchery, where these fertilized eggs are incubated, and the new chicks are hatched before they are sent to a farm to be raised for market. That said, we'll take a deep dive into each of the processes that take place in the hatchery. The first process that takes place in the hatchery is incubation. The eggs are received from different farms, and as they arrive at the hatchery, they are labeled and grouped based on their age and what farm the eggs are from. The reason for this is so that the hatchery can keep track of where the eggs are coming from and when or what age they are getting to the hatchery. Some regulations must also be followed in the hatchery, one of which governs the cleanliness of the hatchery. This regulation is important because it helps keep the incubators free of disease-causing organisms that may cause the new chicks to fall ill or result in foodborne illnesses. Once the eggs have been labeled and grouped accordingly, they are put on shelves, and the shelves are put into the very large incubators, which look like those huge fancy refrigerators that many people have in their homes. However, unlike the refrigerators, these large incubators keep the eggs warm within a specific temperature range of 99 to 102 degrees Fahrenheit and in the appropriate humidity with a turning mechanism to ensure that the eggs are uniformly heated and the embryo doesn't stick to the side of the shell. The incubation process lasts for 21 days, after which the eggs begin to hatch. After those 21 days, the eggs are put in hatching trays and the new chicks begin to hatch. Hello, baby chicks. The incubators, otherwise called hatchers, are then opened to reveal many new chicks who have pecked their way out of their shells. What's left of the yolk sac, which serves as food for the growing embryo during incubation, is absorbed into the chick's body and serves as its source of adequate nourishment for the first 72 hours of its life. Some hatcheries are able to hatch close to 1.3 million chicks per week. The new chicks hatch by pecking their way through the shell of the egg to break through the walls of their old homes. These newly hatched chicks are covered in wet feathers and can usually walk and see. A new chick's fluff will have bulked up to about twice its size within a few hours after it's made its way out of the shell. After the hatching of the eggs, the new chicks can be vaccinated at the hatchery to prevent them from getting any common poultry diseases. This is very similar to how humans are vaccinated as infants against common human diseases. At this point, it's time for the new chicks to leave the hatchery and head to new destinations. These chicks are subsequently transported to local farms on the same day that they hatch, where they are cultivated by farmers and cared for by veterans until they are large enough to be used for meat production. After hatching, the new chicks are manually separated from their broken shells and carefully arranged in specially designed transportation trays. Before these chicks leave the hatchery for the farms, they are thoroughly sprayed with the vaccine mist to ensure they remain healthy and free of common poultry diseases like bronchitis. You must ensure that these new chicks are kept warm and protected from drafts as they are prepared for transport. They should be carefully placed in clean and germ-free crates devoid of any sharp edges that would injure them during the journey. Once in the germ-free and safe crate and on the sanitary climate-controlled transport truck, these chicks are ready for the trip to their new home, a farm where they will be cultivated for around 35 days until they become big broiler chickens ready to be sold to consumers. 